by watching this video you will get acquainted with the Smile Design user interface and the tools available in this application. Start with opening your application and adding a patient and new case. Then, when in the order form, click the Smile Design tab in the Indications list. Since Smile Design is a planning tool, you do not have to choose any indications. Now click the Comments and Attachments tab and add clinical photos of the patient. Smile Design can be used with a smile photo alone or with both a smile and a retracted photo. The retracted photo is necessary if the patient does not show the gums while smiling. In this video, we will demonstrate how to do a design using both photos. The attached photos are now visible in the panel. When the photos are uploaded, click Next and drag the photos into the correct placeholder. The pictures can be moved around if necessary. Go to the next step when ready. In this step, you should perform the alignment of the photo to find the balance of the face by placing three sets of reference points. Put the points on the pupil, nasal wings, and commissures. You can do that in any order. The pupil and commissure points are used to align the picture by finding the horizontal balance between the points. The nasal wing points help to set the midline properly and to dictate the canine position. The points can be adjusted at any time if necessary. as well as the angulation of the photo. To start the placement afresh, use the clear button. When the face is balanced, click Next and perform alignment of the two photos. If you work with one picture only, this step will not be available in your workflow. Alignment should be done by placing two sets of corresponding points on the pictures. This will result in overlaid pictures with aligned teeth and the possibility of further adjustment. Also at that point, the clear button is available if you would like to start the alignment again. When ready to go to the next step, click Next. In the measurement step, you can add measurements of the existing teeth. The measurements can be used as a reference when you do the smile design and as an input for making the mock-up model. Place the arrow where the measurement has been taken and input the value in the measure box. The measurement step is optional if you have not made any measurements. The next step is where you will do your smile design for the patient. The user interface consists of a central window displaying the patient's photo with teeth overlay, reference lines and measurements if added. The auto placement of the teeth design is guided by the placement of reference points and lines. The placement can be adjusted. The patient photo can be zoomed in and out using the scroll wheel and moved around by pressing the middle mouse button or the left and right mouse buttons at the same time. To work with the overlay, you have two tools available, as well as visibility sliders. Let's start with the sliders, located in the upper right side of the user interface. Use the sliders or shortcuts visible in brackets, while hovering over a given slider, to switch measurements and the teeth proportions on and off. Hide the middle line and nasal wing lines. Change the visibility of the interdental ruler, showing the relationship between teeth according to the golden proportions. Disable and enable gingival and smile curves and the visibility of the teeth outlines themselves. The last slider gives you the possibility of swapping between the two photos. To see the full face, click on the front view button. While working on the overlays, you can change the default library by going to the Smile Library drop-down list and selecting the desired shapes. If you click twice, then you can flick through the libraries using the up and down arrows on the keyboard. Depending on the library, the default number of the teeth can be between 8 or 10. You can remove the teeth you do not wish to provide any treatment for by selecting them. The tooth is highlighted. Now you can remove that tooth from the overlay, clicking the Delete Outline button, or just press Delete on your keyboard. If there is a need to go back to default settings, just click Reset Smile. The placement of teeth designs can be adjusted easily by using the control points. 
Hover over the overlay to see the control points. Use it to move the overlay up and down and shift it to the sides to align to the midline of the face. Scale it vertically using upper and lower control points. Or scale the width using side control points. While doing that, you can see the change in the percentage of the height to width ratio. Now you can also use the gingival and smile curves control points to adjust it in relation to the commissures and change the perspective of the teeth overlay. By default, smile design opens with the transform tool being active. The tooth, when chosen and activated, can be moved around to adjust the position. Just click on it and drag. You can also use the symmetric design and link design mode to design the shapes in relation to other teeth. In the default settings, both are activated. Symmetric design allows you to work on the chosen tooth and the contralateral tooth at the same time. Link design allows you to adjust the tooth and its neighbor at the same time. While both tools are active, you can use the full adjustment possibilities provided by the software, which is symmetrical adjustment to all the guiding lines and the design of the whole smile. Click on the Freeform Tool button to activate it. You can also switch tools quickly by double-clicking on the tooth or on the photo. While in the Freeform Tool mode, the highlight of the active tooth changes to green. You can change the shape of the tooth by drawing its outlines or by clicking on a chosen point. When you hover the mouse, a prediction will appear. The radius of the tool can be adjusted using the slider or by holding shift and using the mouse scroll. To change between teeth, click on another tooth. You will have to be further away than the prediction to select it. The Export Photos button allows you to choose the location and export the photos in PNG format. Now you are familiar with tools available in the Smile Design application. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. <laughs>